Avoid shrimps if you have these health problems. High blood pressure. High blood pressure, also known as hypertension, is a health condition that affects millions of people worldwide. Consuming shrimp can be a concern for those suffering from this condition, mainly due to its sodium content. Shrimp are often processed with salt or seasonings that contain sodium, which can raise blood pressure in predisposed individuals. Sodium is an essential mineral, but in excess, it can lead to fluid retention and, consequently, an increase in blood pressure. For people with hypertension, controlling sodium intake is crucial. This means that when including shrimp in the diet, it's important to consider not only the food itself, but also how it's prepared and accompanied. Moreover, hypertension can lead to serious complications, such as heart disease and strokes. Therefore, individuals with high blood pressure should be aware of their food choices and opt for shrimp preparation methods that minimize the use of salt. Cooking with herbs and spices instead of salt is an effective strategy that can add flavor without compromising health. Health professionals often recommend that patients with hypertension regularly monitor their blood pressure and adjust their diet as necessary. This includes not only moderation in shrimp consumption, but also a holistic approach involving fruits, vegetables, and whole grains. Finally, for those who love seafood, it's possible to enjoy shrimp in a healthy way. Choosing fresh shrimp and avoiding heavy sauces can be a viable option. The key is balance and making conscious choices about the foods that make up your diet. Kidney diseases. Kidney diseases are conditions that affect kidney function, and diet plays a crucial role in managing these diseases. Consuming shrimp can have significant implications for kidney patients, especially those on dialysis. Shrimp are rich in protein, which can be challenging for already compromised kidneys. For dialysis patients, protein intake must be carefully monitored to avoid overloading the kidneys, which are already struggling to filter waste from the body. While proteins are essential for health, the type and amount must be adjusted according to the stage of kidney disease and medical recommendations. Additionally, shrimp contains sodium, which can also be concerning for those with kidney issues. Sodium can cause fluid retention and raise blood pressure, leading to further complications. Therefore, it's wise for kidney patients to avoid excessive consumption of processed foods and those prepared with salt. Food choices should be made carefully, and shrimp should be consumed in moderation if included in the diet. It is always advisable for kidney patients to consult a specialized nutritionist to create a meal plan that meets their specific needs and minimizes health risks. Lastly, it's important for kidney patients to stay informed about the best dietary practices and considerations. A well-balanced diet can help preserve kidney function and improve quality of life, making it a vital aspect of treatment. To confirm that everything we share on this channel is science-based, we will leave all the scientific studies in the description below this video. Gout and Uric Acid Levels The consumption of shrimp can be a sensitive topic for individuals who already face issues related to gout. This condition, characterized by painful inflammation in the joints, is closely tied to elevated levels of uric acid in the body. Shrimp, like other seafood, contains purines, which are substances that, when metabolized, turn into uric acid. For those prone to this condition, food choices should be made carefully. When a person consumes foods rich in purines, such as shrimp, the body can produce an excessive amount of uric acid. This can lead to gout flare-ups, which are not only painful, but can also cause long-term complications like joint damage. 
Therefore, individuals with a history of gout must monitor their intake of such foods. Additionally, the type of shrimp and how they are prepared can influence the amount of purines in the meal. For example, fried shrimp or shrimp cooked in rich sauces may have a different nutritional profile compared to boiled or grilled shrimp. Therefore, preparation methods should also be considered. It's always advisable for people with gout to consult a nutritionist or doctor. These professionals can help design a meal plan that minimizes purine intake while maintaining a balanced and nutritious diet. Education on which foods are safe and which should be avoided is key to managing gout. Lastly, individuals suffering from gout should be aware of any symptoms of flare-ups after consuming shrimp. Monitoring and understanding how foods affect their condition are important steps toward ensuring a healthy and comfortable lifestyle. High cholesterol. High cholesterol is a growing public health concern, and shrimp consumption may be a factor to consider. Shrimp are known to contain cholesterol, and excessive consumption can contribute to an increase in LDL levels, often referred to as bad cholesterol. This type of cholesterol is associated with a higher risk of heart disease, one of the leading causes of death worldwide. When a person eats shrimp, the cholesterol is quickly absorbed by the body. However, the relationship between shrimp consumption and increased LDL cholesterol is not straightforward. Many factors influence this relationship, including a person's overall diet, physical activity patterns, and genetic predispositions. Therefore, shrimp intake should be considered within the context of the total diet. Additionally, the method of preparing shrimp can impact its effect on cholesterol. For example, frying shrimp in saturated oils can significantly increase the saturated fat content of the meal, contributing to higher cholesterol levels. On the other hand, healthier preparations, such as grilling or boiling, may be more beneficial options. For those with already high cholesterol, it may be helpful to monitor shrimp consumption and discuss options with a healthcare professional. A nutritionist can offer guidance on how to balance shrimp intake with other sources of protein and fiber, which can help control cholesterol levels. Finally, it's important to remember that cholesterol is not the only indicator of cardiovascular health. Adopting a healthy lifestyle, including a balanced diet and regular exercise, is crucial for maintaining heart health. Gastrointestinal diseases for individuals suffering from inflammatory bowel diseases, such as Crohn's disease or ulcerative colitis, consuming shrimp may pose a risk. Protein-rich foods, like seafood, can be harder to digest for these individuals, worsening symptoms such as abdominal pain, diarrhea, and intestinal discomfort. Therefore, it's essential for people to be aware of the potential effects of eating shrimp on their health. Additionally, the method of preparing shrimp can influence its digestibility. For instance, fried or breaded shrimp may be heavier on the digestive system compared to boiled shrimp. A lighter cooking method may be a better choice for those with intestinal issues. Careful consideration should also be given to side dishes and seasonings, as certain ingredients can further irritate the gastrointestinal tract. Another important consideration is the possibility of food allergies or intolerances. Some people may be allergic to shrimp, and this reaction can mimic the symptoms of inflammatory bowel diseases, making diagnosis more complicated. Thus, it's crucial that anyone with gastrointestinal symptoms seeks medical advice before including shrimp in their diet. Consulting with a nutritionist can be extremely helpful for those looking to manage their health conditions. A professional can help identify which foods are safe and which should be avoided, as well as suggest alternatives that are nutritious and won't cause discomfort. 
Lastly, self-monitoring is an important practice. Keeping a food diary can help individuals identify any adverse reactions to shrimp or other foods, allowing for better management of their diet and gastrointestinal health. Type 2 Diabetes Type 2 diabetes is a condition that affects how the body processes glucose, and diet plays a key role in managing it. When it comes to shrimp consumption, there are a few considerations to keep in mind. On the one hand, shrimp is an excellent source of protein and low in carbohydrates, which can be beneficial for those controlling their blood sugar. However, the method of preparation and side dishes can change this outlook. It's important to note that the way shrimp is prepared can significantly impact its suitability in a diabetic's diet. Preparations involving sugary sauces or frying can raise the glycemic index of the meal, leading to blood sugar spikes. Opting for healthier cooking methods, such as grilling or boiling, can help keep blood sugar levels in check. Moreover, shrimp should be included in the diet in moderation. While nutritious, excessive consumption may lead to nutritional imbalances, especially if other protein-rich or fiber-rich foods are not included. It's essential to balance the diet with a variety of vegetables, whole grains, and other sources of lean protein. Diabetics should also consider carbohydrate counting when planning their meals. Although shrimp itself is low in carbs, side dishes like rice, bread, or pasta can add calories and carbohydrates to the meal. Therefore, it's crucial to pay attention to these details when preparing a plate. Finally, consulting a healthcare professional for personalized advice on including shrimp in the diet can be very beneficial. Everyone responds differently to certain foods, and having a meal plan tailored to individual needs is the best way to manage type 2 diabetes. Heavy metal contamination. Heavy metal contamination is a growing concern when it comes to seafood consumption, including shrimp. These crustaceans can accumulate harmful substances such as mercury, lead, and cadmium, which may have long-term negative health effects. The origin of the shrimp and the conditions in which they are raised or caught play a crucial role in determining the amount of heavy metals present. Shrimp from polluted waters or farms that do not follow strict environmental practices are more likely to be contaminated. Therefore, it is essential for consumers to choose reliable and sustainable sources when purchasing shrimp. Opting for certified products can help ensure that the seafood is safe for consumption. The effects of heavy metal exposure can vary depending on the amount consumed and the frequency. Excessive intake may lead to issues such as neurological diseases, kidney disorders, and even cancer. As a result, it is important to be cautious and moderate in shrimp consumption, especially for vulnerable groups such as children and pregnant women. Additionally, the way shrimp are prepared can make a difference. While proper cooking does not remove heavy metals, it can help eliminate pathogens and other contaminants. Thus, it is always important to ensure that seafood is thoroughly cooked before consumption. Avoiding shrimp is particularly important for individuals with certain health conditions due to the potential risks posed by heavy metal contamination and other harmful substances. People with compromised kidney function, such as those with chronic kidney disease, are more vulnerable to the effects of metals like mercury and cadmium, which can exacerbate kidney issues. Additionally, those with neurological disorders or at higher risk for such conditions should be cautious as excessive consumption of shrimp contaminated with heavy metals could contribute to worsening symptoms over time. For individuals with allergies, shrimp is a known allergen that can trigger severe reactions, ranging from mild skin rashes to life-threatening anaphylaxis. 
People with cardiovascular conditions should also be mindful, as some shrimp farming practices result in the use of chemicals and antibiotics that could impact heart health. In these cases, avoiding shrimp altogether or opting for certified, sustainably sourced shrimp may be a safer alternative to minimize these risks. If you want to learn more about foods that appear to be 100% healthy but actually have side effects or health risks in some way, I have prepared this video especially for you. Click here to watch.